Howdy! Howdy, partners! Can I play too? Sure! Okay then! <laughs> Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam And the deer and the antelope play Where seldom is heard a discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all day <laughs> Just look at all of you. You're a real bunch of rootin' tootin' cowboys and cowgirls. Oh, oh, does this have something to do with what you learned in school today? Yup. In school, we've been learning about homes. Homes for people and homes for animals. And today, we learned that a home for a horse is called a stable. Oh, and do these horses have a stable to live in? Sure, it's in our classroom. Come on, everybody, giddy up! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, look at all the pretty pictures of animal homes. There sure are a lot of different kinds. Tomorrow, our teacher's gonna read us a story about animal homes. Ooh, that sounds like fun. But Michael and I aren't in this class anymore, so I guess we won't hear the story. Hey, I know. Why don't I tell a story right now? All we need is some imagination and these pretty pictures right here. Oh, hey, oh, yes. hear this, <laughs> this is the story of animals and their homes. The tiny ant, whose work never ends, lives in a hill with all its friends. The honeybee flies with a buzz, 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 then goes home to a hive. Yes, he does, does, does. <laughs> the spider's home is a pretty place. It spins a web that looks like lace. From a nest in a tree, cheep, cheep is heard, because that's the home of a baby bird. A home underground may seem a bit funny, but a burrow makes a nice home for a bunny. Another animal who lives in a hole is a cute little animal called a mole. <laughs> the monkey loves to jump and play, but a tree is her home at the end of the day. At the top of the world where cold winds blow, the polar bear's home is under the snow. But the biggest home you'll find anywhere is the one big home that all of us share. The birds and the bugs and the animals, too, share a home called Earth with me and you. Oh, it was fun. And there were so many nice pictures, and there were different kinds of homes for every kind of animal. But can you think of any animal homes we didn't see? How about a brown bear? He lives in the woods. Oh, 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 oh. Or a hamster like Zippity who lives in a cage. Uh huh. Barney, I can't think of any other animal homes. Oh, that's okay. Why don't you think about different kinds of homes for people? Aren't people's homes all the same? Oh, there are lots and lots of different homes that people live in. Just look. Oh, oh, awesome. oh, 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 Just imagine what it would be like to live here. I could be a princess. Ooh. Or here, I 
have to live way up on the very top floor. Oh, why don't we all imagine what it's like to live in different kinds of homes? Okay. <laughs> Terrific home. It's called an igloo and it's made from ice and snow. Uh -huh. wow. That's cool, isn't it? That's right, Michael. There are people called Eskimos who live where it's very cold and they build igloos to sleep in when they go hunting or fishing. I wish we could build an igloo, but we don't have any snow. Maybe we could use something else. Right, Barney? Let's use our imaginations. Oh, now, close your eyes, say the magic words, and wish really hard. Shimboree, shimbora, shimboree, shimbora. Oh, there you go. Uh, say, where did you go? In here, Barney. Oh, oh hi. Oh, come on out. Wow, <laughs> here this they come. Is neat. One by one. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Isn't it terrific? <laughs> Boy, this igloo's great. It's really cold in there. It's just like winter. It sure is. <laughs> I love snow. <laughs> Trees are glistening, it's that time of year. I love to see the icicles, the great big snowflakes too. Cause it's the wonderful season full of special things to do. Oh, oh, there they go, around the North Pole. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like our make-believe winter is all over. I think there's a little bit of winter left. Huh? Look! What? Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 What if your home were in the water? Oh. Can you imagine what it would be like? It would look like that. Look at all the different kinds of ocean animals. <laughs> well, and we would look like this. Oh, 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 oh what a silly face. <laughs> and if we wouldn't walk anywhere, we'd just swim by uh -huh. flipping our tails. Oh, oh, look at all the little fishies. <laughs> and if I were a whale, I could 
and splash everyone when I jumped out of the water. Splash, 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 splash. Oh, I think I'm all wet. <laughs> if I lived under the sea, 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 I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish if I lived under the sea. I could wave to a whale, even ride on his tail. Wow, that would be great! I could count the legs on a friendly octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. If I lived under the sea, 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 I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish any time I wish if I lived under the sea. It would be so new to watch a tuna talking with an itty bitty snail. Or see the pretty fin on the back of a fish who always has his very own self. If I lived under the sea, 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 I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish if I lived under the sea. Boy, that was fun. It was, but you know what? I don't think I'd like to live in the ocean. It's too big. <laughs> I guess the ocean is about the biggest home you could have. But what's the smallest home you can think of? Well, a doghouse is pretty small. Uh -huh. But a beehive is even smaller. <laughs> How about a bird's nest? That's a very small home. Mm -hmm. I know a home that's so small there's only room for one little bug inside. Oh, what kind of home is that? I'll show you. Oh, okay. <laughs> was the frog's home, and it was safe there from the hungry owl. Because owls can't swim in the water. <laughs> That's right. Most animals try to find or build homes that will keep them safe from danger. 
Well, I know some silly animals who build homes that didn't keep them safe at all. What animals? The three little pigs. Oh, and what kind of homes did they have? <laughs> well, I could tell you, but it would be a lot more fun if we could show you. Oh, boy, this sounds like it's going to be super deep. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Curly Tail, oink. Twirly Tail, oink, oink. and Swirly Tail. Oink, oink, oink. These three little pigs love to have fun and dance all day. <laughs> but all three pigs were also scared of the big, bad wolf. Oh, oh, That's oh. me. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, he, he is scary. Oh. That mean old wolf wants to eat us up. We need to build some homes to keep us safe. I'll build my house from straw. That will be easy. Oink. I'll build my house from sticks. That will be easy, too. Oink, oink. I think I'll build my house out of bricks, but it'll be hard work. Oink, oink, oink. Hard work, ew. Oink, oink. And so the three little pigs started to build their homes. Curly Tail was the first one finished. Building a straw house was easy. Now I can dance and play. Oh, well, well, well. A pig I see. You'll make a yummy meal for me. <laughs> Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <sighs> oh, oh, my. <laughs> Building a stick house was easy. Now I can dance and play. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Twirly tail, the wolf is coming. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, 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 two pigs, I see. You'll make two yummy meals for me. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Building a brick house is sure hard work, but it is very strong. <laughs> Rolly Tail, the wolf is coming! Oh, oh no! no. <gasps> well, 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 three pigs I see. You'll make three yummy meals for me. Oh, scary! Oh, oh. Oink! Oink, 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 oink! Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> all right, all right, that one didn't count. I wasn't ready. But this time I'm gonna blow your house down. Okay. You're asking for it. I'm going to do the biggest huff and puff ever. <laughs> he blew himself out. Good. <laughs> and the lesson of the story is... Do your work the right way before you take the time to play. <laughs> Great. So let's play! Stupendous performance! Incredible! Bravo! Oh, oh, what a bunch of talented actors! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! I'm glad you liked our play, Barney. Liked it? I loved it! <laughs> Barney, what's the very best kind of home? Ooh, that's a good question. We've talked about lots of homes today. I know a brick home's better than one made of straw or sticks. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 
And the ocean is a good home for a whale. And there were birds' nests and beehives and castles and cocoons. But I'm not sure which is the very best home. Well, I know. You do? Sure, the best home is any home with your family. Oh, I believe you're right. <laughs> Family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. They've got a cat and a dog and a pet bullfrog, and I'm really glad they do. Oh, a family is people and a family is love, that's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds, but mine's just right for me. Although she sees her parents just one at a time, they both love her every day. Oh, a family is people and a family is love, that's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds, but mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. I know a boy. Gee, we've been talking about home so much that it's getting kind of late. We should be going to our own homes. Oh, okay. Michael. We've learned about a lot of different homes today, but there's one thing that all homes need, and that's love. <laughs> a great big hug and a kiss from me to you won't you say you love me too <laughs> I love you you love me we're best friends like friends should a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? Oh, I better be going. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Bye, Barney. See Bye. you soon. Bye. So long. <laughs> Again to all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We found out that there are lots of different homes in the world. A different kind of home for everyone and everything. Our animal friends live in some really neat homes. <laughs> and some of our animal friends live in the water, like fish and whales, and snails, and one of my favorites, the octopus. <laughs> oh, and we can't forget our furry friend Zippity. 
He lives in a special home at school. And I really like the three little pigs play. Curly Tail built her house out of straw, but the big bad wolf blew it down. Ooh. And Twirly Tail built her house out of sticks, but the big bad wolf blew it down too. Ooh. Ooh. Then Swirly Tail worked hard to build her house out of bricks. And the big bad wolf huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed, but couldn't blow it down. The brick house was too strong. Hooray for Swirly Tail! <laughs> you know, people live in lots of different kinds of homes, too. Some are big and others are small. We learned that some people live where it's very cold, and they make their homes out of ice and snow. These homes are called igloos. But no matter where you live, remember that a home is a place to live in, to eat and sleep and be with the people you love and care about. Yes, that's a home to me. And remember, I love you.